Hello viewers, welcome back to Rising Star. In the last video we discussed about the flight control surfaces. Today we are going to learn about the wings of an aircraft. Our main objective will be to focus on the skin of the aircraft, the spar, the ribs and the stringers of an aircraft. Let's look at the internal structure of the wing first. So first of all we have top skin and lower skin and then uh, you can see this is labeled as a leading edge and then we have the trailing edge of the wing as well. Now inside of the wing we have two spars. One is uh, near the trailing edge and the other one near the leading edge and in between the spars we have ribs and uh, there are made some holes in the ribs to allow the flow of the fuel during the flight and uh, we have stringers attached to the skin as well and uh, we will have a, a detailed look in the next slide. Most aircrafts have two spars, the front spar and the rear spar, as you can see in the picture on the left hand side. The spars run span-wise from the root of the wing to the tip and they provide support to the wing and carry the fair share of load as well. The stressed skin along with the spars form a torsion box and the volume in between the front and the rear spar can be used to store fuel on board and uh, the leading and the trailing edge uh, in real don't carry any load. They are just there to provide the aerodynamic shape and to carry the electrical cables, control wires, push rods and other hydraulic pipes as well. So the spars are together forming a torsion box. And then some aircrafts like high-speed aircrafts also have a multi-spar arrangement which helps to increase the stiffness of the wing without increasing the thickness which is very beneficial and uh, very helpful during the battle damage. Having multi-spar wing also increases the structural redundancy and tolerance to the battle damage. Most aircrafts are made up of stressed skin and there are multiple benefits of having a stressed skin. Number one is that it gives the wing its aerodynamic shape as well as it carries load, for example torsional loads caused by the features attached to the wing, for instance ailerons and flaps and it also carries load caused by the pressure changes. And uh, the skin is fixed to the internal structures using rivets or bonding uh, like special adhesives. Ribs provide support to the skin and they give the aerofile shape as well and they also act as a buffers to prevent the fuel surging during the maneuvering. Ribs have holes in them which allow the controlled flow of the fuel inside the space and helps maintain the center of gravity as well during the flight. And they also carry a fair share of load from undercarriages and control surfaces for example ailerons and flaps and they pass this load to the skin and spars and they obviously help provide stiffness against twisting it. Next we will talk about the stringers. A large contribution to the strength and stiffness is made by skin along with stringers. Stringers stiffen the skin and they prevent buckling under torsional, shear and compressive forces. They are attached to the skin either by bonding and using adhesives or using rivets. They carry load when the skin is under tension and there are two shapes of stringers which are mostly found on an aircraft. The first one is the Z stringers as you can see in the picture as well and next we have top head sections. On the picture on the right hand side at the bottom of the slide you can see a detailed view of the airfoil. We have leading edge at the beginning and then the trailing edge and uh, then we have two spars and the skin and the spars together form a torsion box as I have mentioned in the previous slide and then attached to the skin are stringers and then we have uh, lightning holes as well Thank you so much for watching